Well, hello, welcome to another Facebook Friday, right? It's another Frilici Friday. Are you guys excited for Friday? I love Fridays. So yay, and I love being live here with you all. So welcome if you're brand new to us never joining on a Facebook Live uh, with me. We go live most every Friday right here on the Gathering Ink with a K, Gathering Inspiration Stamp Studio Facebook group. Um, we always do two projects at the end, you know, later on, a little bit later after I update you guys on everything. Um, at the end of the video, we always have, Nancy, hello. We always have a product of the week that I like to feature all week long right here on our Facebook group and this week I was taking us on spring break a little early with this is the timeless tropical stamp set and then the in the tropics dies I have loved playing with this product this week like I said um I am ready. I am so ready for spring break. Uh, it's funny because it got kind of warm around here and that was like a teaser, I think, basically. Um, and now it's like cold and they said maybe snow. That's not happening. But anyway, it feels like winter big time again around here. So I got my spring break plans pretty well finalized, you know, nothing like waiting till the last minute. But anyway, so I'm excited to get um, to a tropical destination for a little while. So yes, good morning, Miss Nancy. Um, so yeah, so we've been featuring that product of the week all week long on our Facebook group. I love to go hop out on Pinterest and find other people's projects because usually what happens is I pick that product of the week and then throughout the week I am designing the projects that we're going to do later right here on our Facebook Live. So throughout the week I grab um, pictures of other people's awesome projects, hey Sally, um, that they've posted on Pinterest just to kind of wet your whistle or you know get you um, excited about the product of the week. And then if Stampin' Up! makes any videos, I love to share those videos, um, kind of give you up close um, pictures of the product in um, the product of the week. So it's been a really fun way to feature kind of, um, you know, some product out of the Stampin' Up! current Stampin' Up! catalogs. And it's been really helpful to me. I'm going to be very honest with you because it used to be I would just kind of do whatever I felt look like on Facebook Live. So it's been really good because it gives me like a focus like, okay, now you have to work on uh, projects, uh, you know, just with that product of the week for our Facebook Live. Plus, I actually, I love this product so much that I decided to use it in my next class to go. So I'm going to show you, uh, give you some more information on that in just a little bit. Um, so yeah, it's an awesome, awesome class to go. You guys are going to, um, you're going to need these projects. I'm just sure of it. So um, let's see what else is going on. Oh, well, just so you know, too. So like I said, a little bit later on, we will do the demonstrations of the projects um, using our product of the week. I always offer, oh, Lily's home. She had um, exams today, so half day. They had like um, yesterday afternoon and then this morning. So yeah, okay, so she'll be coming in. She's gonna run through here because she doesn't like to say hello. She might even duck, so you guys don't even know. But anyway, so she's just funny. She's a 15 year old girl and you can't make her do anything she doesn't wanna do right now. So <laughs> you need every project. All right, well, Sally, for being in my downline you get the um, PDF tutorial for free for that class to go so if you would like that I can send that out to you and hey Roseanne how are you doing so okay I'm already like off track as usual hi Lily hi. I already told everybody that you're home early from school how did exams go mm, you, know. Eh, you know she says okay well hopefully hopefully that's good enough anyway right hey philomena hello hello welcome so okay so back to we're going to do the projects um and just so you know right if you use the um host code that i give you in just a little while hey nikki um you get the projects the make and takes we're doing it different so you're going to get make and takes so you need the stamp set um and your ink um to make the projects right but you get both of the projects that i demonstrate as make and takes you also get your name well, i'll show you guys that just a little bit um and the name in the drawing for our facebook live giveaway and if you bump your order up to fifty dollars well right now you of course get a free celebration item and then you also get to pick from and i'll give you a full pack i promise but this is my partial pack this is my free embellishment with a 50 dollar order this month the glitter enamel dot or you can pick the demo design dream team PDF tutorial 16 different projects let's see is there a good way to flip so you guys can kind of see I'll just give you like a little peek oops 
I'm flipping and you're not seeing like many, okay. I'm not a very good flipper, apparently. But anyway, you kind of get the idea, right? So 15, 16 different projects in here, and you can see kind of step by step, we tell you how to put everything together too. So you always get that choice. Do you want the free embellishment or do you want the PDF tutorial when you get a $50 online order and using the host code? Plus, right now it's celebration, so you get a free celebration choice too. So awesome time to stock up even on basics. So, okay, um, what else, what else? Are you gonna come say hi? She's shaking her head, no. Okay, good, you can see it. Thank you for sharing, Philomena. What a stinker you are. Here she is, she's getting her snacks and she's gonna like try to, can you just like say, can you smile at least as you walk by? Like I said, 15 year old girl, but she's gonna do it just for me because it would be really embarrassing if I asked her so nicely and she didn't do that as she walked by right now. Come on, Lily. <laughs> oh, she's being a total pain in the right now. Okay, well, anyway, moving right along. Let's see, what else do I wanna tell you guys about? Uh, oh, well, Lily danced last night. You wanna hear about that? Um, we had this awesome, I don't know if you guys, um, they're popping up in a lot of communities around my area. Um, this event was called Arts United last night. Thanks, Lily. Uh, anyway, so her dance team, along with, mm, I think it was eight different couples like from the community. So these couples are not dancers either. They learned routines and then performed them at this Arts United event and then kind of interspersed amongst those eight different couples that danced. Um, like Lily's dance team danced. Actually, the dance team from Alma College danced. There's another dance studio in town that did a performance. And then they had Lily's favorite was... It was, I think, maybe you call it like a barbershop quartet, something like that. Like, um, what was the other word? I was trying to remember. Anyway, I'm drawing a blank on what you call it. But anyway, it was these men from our community that all sang. And, you know, that's it. Like, all they do, they just sing. And there's, you know, the different, like, voice... I'm so bad, I don't know anything about singing. But anyway, the different, like, you know, some one guy had a really high voice at times, and one guy had a really deep voice. Anyway, so she she and um, her cousin, Bryn, my niece, they were sitting up in the balcony, and she said, Mom, they brought us to tears. They enjoyed the performance so much. So anyway, it's just kind of this whole, like, conglomeration of lots of different art. Most of it was dancing, but then there was some singing. A gal played the clarinet that was amazing. Anyway, just kind of this whole different um, hodgepodge of um, art, basically. And then they actually had like real art for auction, all to benefit United Way. So it was a very, very, very cool event. Um, they also do like a video package of each of the couples because they've been practicing for like eight weeks or so to kind of learn their dance because they get up like on stage in front of like a completely packed audience um, and do these dances. So um, the couple that actually you win, not by like being the best dancers, but by raising the most money and I think this was like a blow away year. The top couple actually just themselves raised over $18,000. I get like tears in my eyes, $18,000, guys. I think like in total last night, they raised like $60,000 for United Way. So, oh my gosh, sorry. I get, always get all like teary because I think that is like amazing. We are a teeny tiny little community and that so many people came together to do so much good for United Way. Oh, sorry, <laughs> I don't know why I get so, I am like just this weird emotional lady. So anyway, that was very cool. Okay, so I'm gonna like get myself back together here. and I'm missing let's see um oh let's see sally what's she saying tell her we see her at the studio <laughs> i know so what's the difference with being on a video i know like i said all i can say is 15 year old girl that's all i've got right now so and hey sunday how are you um so yeah let's see what else oh basketball so Tuesday night, the boys won. Last Friday was a big game away game. They did not win that game. They held their own, but they're just not 
they're not playing quite as a team right now. So I don't know. We're going into districts Monday, hopefully. Well, Monday, if they win Monday, they play Wednesday. If they win Wednesday, they play Friday. They feel pretty good about the Monday-Wednesday games, and we'll see about that Friday game. So anyway, next week um, is a busy week with basketball, but no basketball tonight. So I don't know what I'm going to do with myself. So hey, Kathy. Hello. Welcome, welcome. So okay, I think I've chatted for long enough. I'm sure lots of people, everybody's getting on right now too. And I do have to mention, I don't know what happened. If you normally watch um, this Facebook Live over on YouTube, for whatever reason, I could not get my video from Facebook downloaded. I have to like download it to my computer and then upload it to YouTube. And Facebook would not let me download this video last Friday. So fingers crossed that it was just a fluky thing last Friday um, and I'll be able to download it and then get it put onto YouTube for this week's Facebook Live. So, <clears throat> oh, one other quick thing to mention though too is Next weekend is our weekend retreat down in Lansing, so we will not be having a Facebook Live. I've kind of gone back and forth like, you know, can I, am I going to like be super crazy next Friday and try to get the Facebook Live in and then rush down to Lansing and get everything set up because then I need to get back up kind of to our area for that basketball game on Friday and I just decided, okay, I tend to do that. Like I tend to like just make myself go crazy and I'm like, okay. I'm getting old, ladies. I can't do that the way I used to anymore. So we're not doing Facebook Live next Friday. We will be back live the following Friday, which, so today's the 6th, 13th, so it must be the 20th. We'll be back live on the 20th for Facebook Live. So, hey, Deb, how are you doing? I'm glad you can join us. Um, okay, so let's do our first drawing, right? So last week I announced we were gonna do a drawing. Hey, Diana, welcome, welcome, good morning for this is the stone embossing folder. And I don't know if you guys saw, but Nancy, who I think is on here right now, um, Nancy Krause posted a picture of a project that she made. It's like, you know, a guy sitting in like a beach chair on the beach and then kind of in the background, I think it was, um, she used that stone 3D embossing folder. So scroll back through our group here if you need um, an idea of how to use your stone embossing folder. If you win, and how do you win that? Well, your name is in here. If you shared the video anytime, as many times as you share, your name is in here. Or if you're new to me and signed up for my email list, there's a link on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com um, to sign up for my email list if you have not done that yet. And I will tell you that is the best way to stay updated. I try to post everything on my Facebook group, um, on my blog. I'm less good on my blog. I don't... I, there are just too many places to update, but I always am really, really good about emailing everybody. So that is the best way to stay updated on everything that's going on, like locally with the Gathering Inspiration Stamp Studio and with Stampin' Up. So, okay, with that being said, and Sally's me, 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 and hey, Miss Diane, how are you doing? I'm glad you could be here. Okay, so lots of names in here. We're going to draw one name that will win the stone 3d embossing folder okay i have shaken these up sufficiently okay one name in my hand and oh it's miss becky white well congratulations becky she's really a good sharer of the video so thank you becky i appreciate your shares and i will tell you i love if you guys share so personal like on your personal page but if you're a part of any other stamping or crafting groups i love for you to share this video over on those groups too because that's a great way for me to reach even more people that helps me kind of continue to grow my my small business so thank you so and thank you to miss Becky you are the winner of the 3d embossing folder okay so I'm putting that right over here so I make sure to get that out to you miss Becky and okay so this week we are gonna give away again if you share the video or sign up for my email list you are gonna win these are the and it's such a baby little package but these are the metallic pearls so we've got gold metallic pearls and then silver metallic pearls and you know the funny thing is I can't tell you how many packages of these I have used over the past couple of years and I've used a million of my gold uh, metallic pearls my silver ones, I have a ton of them left. So if you guys have any good ideas of projects for me to use my silver metallic pearls, I'm sure there are lots of good ideas. I should probably even just go to Pinterest because um, I got to start using some of those up. I have a lot of them left. So anyway, but this is what we will draw for the um, gold and silver metallic pearls on Facebook Live two weeks from today on the 20th. Okay, and we'll pop that right over there. And... Okay, I'm gonna show you guys the starter kit right now because 
Um, I always like to do shouts out to um, my downline. And actually, I will give a, a warm welcome to my newest downline member. And all of a sudden, I'm like, wait, what's Aaron's last name? Miller. Aaron Miller. Yes, Aaron Miller. <laughs> Congratulations on getting the awesome starter kit deal on becoming an Inkspired Stamper. We're so happy to have you as a part of our group, Miss Aaron. So let me give you an example of what Aaron may have picked for her starter kit, right? Okay, this is really heavy. I don't know, am I gonna be able to lift this up? I'm trying to find the best way to show you guys this because last week I tried to show you like down on the table and that was kind of crazy too, but okay. Oh, okay, it's like all over the place. Yes, Pinterest is a great idea and Split Coast Stampers. Sally, I always forget about Split Coast Stampers for some reason, so I'm gonna have to remember that. But okay, so here, this is like shaking all over the place. Anyway, this is an example of everything that you could get in a starter kit. So I can, can I hold this up and show you guys? So we have a pack of my um, Tropical Oasis Designer Series paper. We've got a, a pack of Garden Green cardstock that works perfectly with this paper. I threw in the Timeless Tulip Stamp Set and it's actually a bundle with the Tulip Bundle. All right, now things are gonna cooperate with me. We've got a snail in here. We've got a couple of ink pads that will work with our paper and DSP, so there's Daffodil Delight, and I put an old olive one in there too. The greens, all these colors really kind of move how you need them to also, so that's pretty cool. So I think there's a list of names, yes, of course there is on the back of this package, but you can use so many other colors with this too, so just so you know that. Um, we've got the Morning Star stamp set, and then I threw in the um, star, what are they called? The stitched star dies that work with the stamp set. We've got a pack of envelopes and a pack of dimensionals. And then on top of that, right, so that's your $125 in stuff that you can get for free for only $99, right, with the awesome starter kit deal. Then, okay, I have to just put this down. You also get to pick a free stamp set. This is one of my favorites, one of the most expensive. Get the most expensive stamp set that you don't have that you love. So, for example, the Rooted in Nature stamp set. You get an assorted pack of designer series paper. Hello, Miss Sherilyn. Sherilyn took advantage of this awesome deal, too. And the cutest little baby paper trimmer you have ever seen. All of that for only $99 plus sales tax. So, oh my gosh, you can't even, like... I, I'm like, I already did my workout for today. I don't want to like do any more bicep curls with this huge basket of stuff for free. So let me know if you have any questions about the starter kit. It's an awesome, awesome deal. Plus then you get 20% off of every single order that you put in after that. So how, you can't go wrong, ladies. <laughs> Sherilyn is saying, yes, it's an awesome deal. And Sherilyn put her first order in. That's the other cool thing. Do it sooner than later because then you can put your first order in and get 20% off of everything and then get all kinds of celebration stuff too. For example, if you put in like a $300 order, you're going to meet that $300 quarterly minimum. So you wouldn't have to order anything else until after the end of June if you didn't want to. Plus, you get the Ladybug stamp set for free during celebration with a $300 order. You would get, what, six free celebration items. We came up with a bunch of new items too. So you can get any of those new items. Some of them are free with a $100 order. Some of them are free with a $50 order. But demonstrators get all of those perks as well. So what else? Plus host benefits too, more free stuff. So it's an amazing time to get the starter kit and then to put your order in too. Um, let's see. <laughs> can you can you rejoin again and again? So Sally, you have to drop <laughs> and then rejoin. That's how that works. But you're already getting awesome deals. You're already getting 20% off of everything um, that you order anyway. So yeah, plus the more that you order, then you can get up to that $1,800 in sales and then you get 25% off of everything that you order after that. So yes, the starter kit deal is awesome, but there are reasons to stay in it and building your sales too because you get more perks and benefits um flex points um free stuff you can pre-order early because you're a demonstrator lots of great reasons to stay in it and keep with it too so plus you're an expired stamper and we have lots of fun too right so um yes and cheryl and your first order's coming soon i know it's so much fun those stampin up boxes still today i love getting my stampin up boxes and hello susan in florida oh yeah you don't know anything about the cold drear that we 
we experience around here, do you? I'm so jealous, Miss Susan. Uh, yeah, I bet it's sunny and beautiful down there in Florida. So good for you, good for you. Um, oh yeah, no thank you about dropping. Yep, I hear you, Sally. So, okay, uh, you know me, I've got my notes. I have to just check my little list of notes here and make sure we are good. I think that I'm staying pretty well on track. Okay, so I actually didn't have any online orders last week, so I was gonna give, give away that little um, small bloom punch, so I will have to keep that and use it for another cause or reason. But this week, if you put an online order and use the host code that's always on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com, your name is gonna go in the drawing to win this I Say Hello stamp set. And it is so cute. And I think, like, this is what's really drawing me to it. Oh, from Brooklyn, New York, originally. <laughs> okay, so you know about the awful drear of winter as well. But yes, you, you made it out. You got down to Florida. Good for you, Susan. That is awesome. That's cute. Uh, okay, so yeah, well, like I was saying, this there's something, I guess because with spring coming, hopefully, right? Graduation is coming too. So I love the little um, graduation cap there. And then this is a fun one that says, hello there. We've got good luck. That would be a good one with your graduation card, right? There's a my friend, I'm so sorry. That one's nice too, isn't it? And then these are these cool borders that I have to show you. Yeah, let me show you on, this is on page 110 of our big annual catalog. You guys can kind of see some examples. So there's that hello there stamp set and then they put the little candles up there. But this is the one I kind of want to show you. Do you see how they use the Stamparatus? And then they stamped that border in all four corners and then they added some more fun to it in that project right there. So super cute stamp set. Um, I have been wanting to play with my stamp set myself and I just haven't had a chance to, but I think especially with that little um, graduation cap, plus like the confetti too, that's kind of fun there also, right? So fun stamp set, your name will go in the drawing. Just put an online order in of at least $30 and use the host code that's on my blog that I'm gonna give you in a few minutes and your name goes in the drawing to win this next Facebook Live, we will say, okay? Um, all right, let's see, showed you that. Oh, so is Vina on here? I'm trying to remember. I don't know if she is, sometimes she watches later. But Miss Vina, if you're not on here right now, I have to tell you, so, okay, this is, this is how she sent me a card. And my daughter, Lily, was like, look at that envelope. Isn't that envelope beautiful? So I'll show you the, oops, let me show you the envelope first here too, right? So here's the envelope, and then here's the back side. And, and Vina, I'm not sure if you made this. I think she may, she could have out of this beautiful rose paper. And then there's actually um, a sticker there too to kind of hold it all together. So super cute stamp or um, envelope, I thought, right? Preview of a beautiful card on the inside too. So this is what she um, sent to me, a little thank you card. Um, so she had won um, something in one of the drawings that we do on our Facebook Live. So she's thanking me for that. And then she was also, this is so sweet. She says, I can't wait every week for the video you do. You such a good job. Um, so that was very, very sweet of you. I just appreciate that so much, Vina, because um, I don't know if anybody understands how much work goes into these Facebook Lives every week. So it's so uh, appreciated to be appreciated. So thank you, Vina. I appreciate your card. Um, okay, what else is going on? I think, so a couple more quick reminders about things. We have the one-day retreat coming up on Saturday, April 18th. I have finalized information about the retreat in a box. So if you're not able to come to the live retreat, think about that, first of all. Love to have you come hang out with me. 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. right here in Alma all day on Saturday, April 18th. Um, bring whatever you want to work on. You get a goodie bag. You have make and takes. I bring all my supplies that you can use all day long. If that day does not work for you, think about getting the retreat in a box. Basically, you get the goodie bag that everybody gets at the one-day retreat, you get the make and takes that everybody gets to make at the one-day retreat, and then you get um, all the goodies, all the treats that I make for everybody. So it's a great like experience shipped to you, plus you get a PDF tutorial with pictures that tell you step-by-step -step how to put everything together in your make and takes. So that information will be emailing out this week. I'm starting to get that out um, to you as well. Okay, so if you have any questions, let me know. I'd love to get you signed up for the one-day retreat or a retreat in a box, okay? Um, quick other reminders. What else, what else? 
Uh, club member drive, don't forget that. Join a club and you get a free celebration item. Any of the $50 items you can get for free for joining a club, right? We have Scrapbook Club, Simple Beautiful Card Club, and the Class To Go Club, right? Um, we also have the Celebration Celebration. You can earn your spot at this party, basically, as a thank you for an awesome celebration. Three ways you earn your spot into Celebration Celebration. And I will mention, if you're a long distance, or even if you're local and you, the day just doesn't work for you to come, I send you everything that I get up, give everybody at the Celebration celebration I send that to you uh, so you don't miss out on anything right so you earn your spot by hosting a private party or class with at least $300 in sales we want to get you to $300 so that you can get that little ladybug stamp set right um, if you buy the starter kit through me you know it's an awesome deal right or if you spend at least $300 with me during celebration so we've got until the end of March to um, get to that point and then you get a spot you earn your spot at celebration celebration Okay, um, I think that's it. I have so many papers here, but yeah, I think we're good. So, okay, and the sun is peeking out now. Huh. Thank you, Anna. That's awesome. I appreciate you so much saying that. Uh, yeah, so share. Tell anybody else that you know about the videos too. That's my best way to kind of grow my business is to reach more and more people. So I appreciate um, you appreciating the videos and then I appreciate you sharing with anybody that you know that loves to craft as well or just likes to hang out with me on Fridays, right? <laughs> okay, um, I'm gonna move these papers out of the way. Although, wait, these are my notes. I can't move those. I'm ready to um, flip the camera down. So I can show you, we've got a couple more things to show you, but I think it's gonna be better to flip the camera down. <clears throat> I'm gonna wait for, it's actually like a more of a blue sky right now. I'm looking outside like waiting for the um, clouds to cover up the, <laughs> the sun again so we don't have a glare because there's a serious glare on the table right now. Okay, well, we'll see. Maybe I'll have to. Ha! Huh? Yes, you always have to watch the replay. I know that it's kind of, it is fun to do it live too, isn't it, Susan? Because then we get the interaction. I love, as many people as can join me live, I love to have that interaction too. Because then I know that you're watching also. Because when you watch later, I don't ever see any of the names. So I don't know anybody who's watching later. So that being said too, if you watch later, either on the Facebook group or on YouTube, say hello, send me a comment and let me know that you're here hanging out with me later too, because I love to hear whenever that you're um, watching um, and hanging out with me. So, okay, I thought I, maybe I would chat for a sec to see if that glare would go away a little bit. I don't know if it's going to, but okay. So I think we will, we're gonna turn your heads away for a quick sec. We're gonna fly through the air here and Oh, I just remembered. Maybe Lily's upset with me because so she ordered some clothes online. She found some great deals and she was showing them to me last night. And I was like, oh, Lily, that sweater. I really like that sweater. <laughs> More fun watching both. That's cute, Philomena. Uh, anyway, she, I was like, Lily, could I, could I wear that sweater? Because I need something new to wear on Facebook Live. So maybe she walked in and saw me wearing her sweater and was like, oh, darn, she did wear it. <laughs> so it's really, it'll be huge on her because um, we're, not, we're not the same size at all. Okay, so here, hold on. Um, we're going to move there we go we've lost our glare for the moment anyway all right oops i should scoot that over so here's your host code too if you need that like i said always on my blog too at gatheringinspiration.com all right i need two sips of water mm. <clears throat> watching watching this facebook live huh helps you to not have to change the baby doll diapers. Oh, that, yeah, because you are really busy. That little chica is going to have to change her own baby doll diapers, isn't she? <laughs> That's funny, Sally. Okay, so since I have this right here, I'm going to show you, and I haven't, I don't have all the details quite worked out, but I just kind of want to give you a little um, 
sneak peek preview and watch for so I will upload the video to YouTube for the tropical oasis class to go but it's going to feature the timeless tropical stamp set so I kind of showed you that but it was backwards before these images are beautiful and then sentiments we've got hello thank you rest and relax you deserve it may your birthday be memorable and our friendship is timeless so an awesome stamp set and then you can see here the dies right so some of them for example, like these two flowers, cut those two images. So some of these cut out the images in the stamp set, and then some of them I'm calling them kind of complementary images that work really well with the images and sentiments in, sentiments in the stamp set. This one actually says aloha, but it's backwards, so it's very hard to know that that's what it's saying. So anyway, an awesome set of dies too. Lots of different leaves and some cute little flowers. So lots of good stuff there. Okay, so that Tropical Oasis class to go again features timeless tropical stamp set in the tropics dies. It also features, these are the fun Tropical Oasis trinkets. I Maybe, I can't remember, I feel like I used them on a project, but now I can't say for sure. But we have little, I'll flip this one over. So there are little pineapples, leaves, ukuleles, and um, where's the other one? The little, I think it's a hibiscus flower. So hopefully, I don't know if you guys can see those very well. Anyway, features those timeless tropical um, trinkets. And, or yeah, Tropical Oasis trinkets. And then this is, let me make sure I call it the right name. Yep, the braided burlap trim. So you can see it comes skinny and then you can pull it apart. You guys, this is the coolest stuff ever. You can really fray it. Then I think it kind of looks like a rug or something, right? So you can have lots and lots of fun with this braided linen trim. And then my most favorite part of this entire suite is and i think it's because this actually takes me to hawaii even more than i guess is hawaii in the tropics i don't know i think of like the caribbean as the tropics anyway hawaii in a pack of paper right here ladies plus check it out this is i think the cutest <laughs> the little woody wagons aren't they so <laughs> i love that pattern of paper okay so one side is very like kind of beautiful floral tropical right and then here is the other side of the paper actually we'll scoot that one so i've used so much of the woody wagon paper i don't even have a full 12 by 12 of it anymore but you can see these are kind of more muted but still very cool like this one actually looks kind of like burlap um, on a paper too so very very cool so anyway that is featured on my class to go okay so do you guys want to see the cards i can't tell you all the details because i haven't quite decided um pricing on things yet so i'm going to hold off on telling you about the pricing but the idea is all my class to go kits you get to make two of each of four different cards so i'm going to show you the cards real quick and then like i said watch for details um on my blog and email and um on youtube for this class to go kit okay so here's the first card with that beautiful and i love i was pulling apart that um burlap on all of them and then more here's the little trinket with our time our friendship is timeless here's another one i had to pull that burlap apart again right may your birthday be memorable and then how about this one i love the colors on this it's all about that paper right so there's a thank you so again you get to make two of each of those projects in my latest class to go and if you already um, have, say, the stamp set, the dies, the burlap, or the trinkets, or even the designer series paper, let me know and we can make substitutions for other things um, on those options as well. So don't want you to feel like, oh, you can't get the to-go kit because you already have some of the stuff, especially if you want the cards. So, okay. All right. I have to show you guys a couple. Actually, no, hold off on that. Uh, you know what else I want to show you? is I have a couple of the new celebration items. So this is, can you see this, right? This is some of the vellum paper. Let me get this right here. So it is in our new celebration offerings. If I can get the paper open. Yep, the So Very Vellum Specialty Designer Series paper that comes in Pool Party, Soft Sea Foam, and Purple Posy. Isn't it? It's so cool, this texture on here. I want to try to, can I lift this up so you guys can get a better idea of that? So you get two sheets of each, right? It's like this fun, bumpy, textured, it's like they're already embossed. 
this paper for us. So this is one of the items you can get for free with a $50 order. And then I also have, I have too much stuff up here, the Tags in Bloom stamp set. So this is one you can get for free with a $100 order for the next couple of weeks through March 31st. And I love, so these um, are gonna work with our new tag or label, whatever they're called, the new punches that are labely tag type looking punches in the spring mini catalog. And let's see, I think it will tell me the names of them. Yes, with the label me fancy punch and the label me lovely punch there. So you can see how they punch those little things out beautifully. So you could stamp this whole thing and then punch and pop that up. So very, very cool. Love this stamp set. Plus that two from you can always use a two from, right? I miss your face, sending you hugs, wishing you the best just for you. Oh, and happiness looks gorgeous on you. And there's the sun just in time for that beautiful sentiment. Happiness looks gorgeous on you. Love, love to send a card to somebody with that sentiment on it, huh? Okay. Oh, the other quick thing to tell you about is, unfortunately, the Golden Honey Designer Series paper has already sold out. So hopefully you got that already. You cannot get it free with a $50 order any longer. So Golden Honey Designer Series paper, the kerchief card kit, and oh, the um, sequins and baker's twine combo pack. Those are the three that have sold out so far. So still lots of other great offerings for you free with a 50 or a $100 order, but hopefully you got those three already. Okay. Um, one more quick thing to remind you guys about, because I kind of tried to do it last week and I think I didn't do as good a job as I wanted to. These are our 2018-20 in colors that are going to be retiring. So here's my idea. Whatever you don't have in these colors, get it now. Get your order up to at least a $50 order. Stock up on these things so that you don't have to have the worry of will I be able to get them or not once the retiring lists come out, right? Plus, do it before March 31st and then you can get a free celebration item too. So let me think. One, two, three. We have five times eight. So you could get all five packs of these paper and add one more item on and then you can get a free celebration item. So if you wanna stock up on cardstock, we've got, so we've got cardstock, the ink pad. If you haven't gotten that yet, you have to get that. If you don't have your ink refill, make sure you get that. There's ribbon, there are um, embellishments. There's probably more. Anyway, just make sure you stock up. Call Me Clover, uh, Grapefruit Grove, Blueberry Bushel, Lovely Lipstick, and Pineapple Punch. Make sure you get what you want in these products before they are gone forever. Okay, that's like ahead of time. I'm telling you guys that uh, so that you don't, you know, you'll be like, oh, retiring list, whatever. I already got what I needed with all those ink colors that are going away. So you will just be on top of things, right? Which is a nice feeling, isn't it? Okay, I think we are ready to make some projects. So here, I'm gonna grab my grid paper. We're gonna scoot this up. I still want you guys to be able to see that host code, but no, like I said, it's always on my blog. Actually there, we're gonna put that right there. Okay, we are ready to go. So couple cards I want to show you guys featuring, right, our, hold on, I thought I was ready, but I'm going to move this over. Again, featuring our product of the week, the Timeless Tropical Stamp Set in, in the Tropics dies. So I just uploaded, you guys, I'm so embarrassed. I made this video like back at the end of December, I think, and then I wanted to get it uploaded, you know, right when Celebration and the mini catalog were coming out. And I completely forgot to do it. So here I am like showing in the beginning of the catalog or the beginning of the video. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I can finally show you guys this new catalog. Well, clearly um, that was a while ago that I um, filmed that because now you guys have opened and been through that spring mini catalog many times. But anyway, once you get past the point that I'm like way late in uploading it, hopefully you enjoy the video on how to make this fun card right here. So it's on my YouTube channel, Gathering Inspiration Stamp Studio YouTube channel. So it's fun, features some of that. And I didn't even think at that time I wasn't even pulling this apart. Now I came back and I was like, oh, I wanna pull that apart some more because I love that, but it's just fun. The In the Tropics, right, guys? And then this was the one, I think I did um, this on Facebook Live way back when. So again, this one features, so there, 
right? We've got those two dies right there, the pineapple, the bottom, and then the top, and then that little flower, and then the fun. That's one of those, man, that glares crazy, isn't it? Um, one of those from my heart faceted gems. I loved using that there with the congratulations, because this is part of um, one of our celebration offerings there as well. So a couple of other great ideas for you. This is on my blog. If you scroll back to earlier in January, you can get the details on how to make this card because I know we did it on Facebook Live. And then this one is over on my YouTube channel. So I'm not going to show these again. I'm going to show you some other fun projects. So, okay, here we go. Aha. Okay. I had so much fun with this stuff. Like I said, I made four cards for my class to go. And then I was like, oh, I get to make two more for Facebook also. So, and this is one of my favorite patterns of the designer series paper in that Tropical Oasis DSP. So let me show you everything that we're going to use to make this fun card. Okay, I'm going to kind of try to get everything out here. Mm. Yep, we need that. We got some ink. We are going to need our big shot. So this is when I always like get all this stuff piled out and then go, oh, I need room for my, to do my die cutting. Okay, I think we'll be all right though. Shoot, 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 shoot. Okay, so let me tell you about measurements. Okay, so this one we're going to start with a real red piece of cardstock. That measures are eight and a half by eleven. Along the eight and a half inch side, we scored it at four and a quarter inches, and then along the eleven inch side, we uh, actually did I say score? We cut it at four and a quarter, and then we scored it at five five and a half. <laughs> Susan, you need that bundle. Yes, you do. It's a pretty fabulous one. I agree. Okay, then let's see. You will love, 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 love playing with it. Okay, on the inside, I used a piece of white cardstock that measures four by five and a quarter. I'll show you that because I had to use that flower. I love that flower too. So we use that on the inside. And then our designer series paper, this piece measures two and a half by five and a quarter. So there's the one side and then the much more, again, that almost looks a little like textured, like a sizzle or a burlap or something on that. Hey, Sandra, how are you? I'm so glad you can join us. I've been missing you on the lives. I'm glad you're back to hang out with us. Uh, yes, it is a beautiful flower, isn't it, Philomena? Um, you know what? All of a sudden, my eyes feel really blurry. I'm going to grab my glasses. Fortunately, they are just right over here, so that's easy enough. Yes, okay, that's going to be helpful. Very helpful. All right, so let's do some stamping. Everything else is just scraps. Scraps of white and daffodil delight and another that's like just a little half inch strip there of that one. Okay, so let's do our stamping and then we'll do our die cutting. So we don't need that. Yeah, and I brought, I brought a lot of these half inch strips because I wasn't super successful in stamping that our friendship is timeless. <laughs> I've missed you more. That's so sweet, Sandra. Well, I'm glad you're here. Okay, so here we go. Wish me luck. So I've got a couple attempts here, and then I've got <laughs> a few more along here as well. So with our Garden Green ink, and it's funny, I know I mentioned that, but I'm about positive that they don't say that this is Garden Green. I think they they mention um, Old Olive as a coordinating color, but I think that looks an awful lot like Garden Green. So that's what I was saying. Like, I think they couldn't even mention all of the colors that coordinate um, with this pack of paper because there are so many different shades and variations. So you can really bend the colors to whatever your favorite colors are, okay? So, and for whatever reason, I'm tending to like Garden Green more than Old Olive these days. So. Okay, we're doing nice, easy tap, 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 and then, okay, cross your fingers, ladies. I was doing it crooked, I did it upside down. All right, I think that's gonna just work. Plus it's so skinny, right? So, okay, woohoo, I like it. I like it well enough that we're calling that one good. Okay, then, let's, oh, sorry. I just like rocked everything, didn't I? I'm trying to pick something up over here and be all sly about it. Okay, so I've got my my little, so you guys know about this, right? This is little grid paper that you can use um, with your Stamparatus. I don't think they give me the item code on here. Sometimes they do, but I don't see it on here. Anyway, if you want this little grid paper, just go to stampinup.com and in the looking glass type in grid paper and this will pop up. 
In the meantime, I'm putting my Whisper White piece on here because I'm gonna use my Real Red ink and with my beautiful flower, I'm gonna go off the edge is what's gonna happen. So instead of getting my puppy grid paper inked up, I do it, see, just a little bit, right? But look at, look at the detail on that. Isn't that so beautiful? So I loved just stamping that just in the corner, just like that on my card, on the inside of it, okay? Then we need this strip right here. Scoot that out of the way. And I used terracotta tile. I think you could use either terracotta tile on this card or the Grapefruit Grove. And I cannot honestly remember which one they told us about, but I wanted to give a little shout out to our, what would this be, a 2019-21 in color. So these guys are not retiring. The Terracotta Tile, Purple Posy. Am I gonna remember all those names? Um, No, I'm not gonna remember. Anyway, the other ones, they're still around for another year. Not, oh, I need two of those. Here, here I got all like taxing my brain that I can't even think about how many of those I need now. Okay, so now on the inside of this, I use, just to give it a little bit, I'll show you on here. Just give it a little bit of dimension. I used my light um, Daffodil Delight marker that matches there too, right? Um, kind of just shading around the inside. Aren't they gorgeous, Susan? I know, I love them as well. So, okay, we're gonna use the bullet tip right here. Uh, what's Sally saying? Now I gotta click see more. Oh, <laughs> yeah, you're trying to help me out with those thin strips. Yeah, I know. I'm sure there's a better way, isn't there? There's always a better way. So we're just gonna kind of color these in a little bit. Thank you, Sally, I appreciate your tips. And so I'm trying not to be perfect about this. I just kind of want to have a little bit of yellow kind of popping out. Might even make a little bit of it come out a little bit further just so you can kind of see it a little bit. There, okay, so that's it. Just add a little bit more color there to those. Okay, so now we're gonna do our die cutting. We're gonna cut these flowers out in that circle. And then I think we can put things together. Okay, those are good, we do not need those. Okay, grab our die cutting machine, scoot those things out of the way so I can actually cut them. Right, okay, you guys can all see. <clears throat> okay, so we're gonna have to run these flowers through twice because we do only get one of those flowers in the dies right here. So we're gonna open this up. We're gonna use this little baby right here. And this is one that it's not symmetrical, so you do, you guys can see what I'm doing here, yep. Um, you do just have to flip it around and all of a sudden it's gonna just fit perfectly. And if it doesn't, just keep turning until it does because there is a point when you're like, oh yeah. I think that's it right there. There we go. Because I, I would stop and then I'd be like, oh, it's not quite right, because it wasn't. So just keep flipping. These are our stitched shapes dies. Hello, Miss Debbie watching from Michigan. Is it sunny a little bit where you are? We keep getting peaks of sun with a lot of gray too. Anyway, okay, stitch shape dies. If you do not have these, these are my number one go-to. You have to have these dies. They come in circles, ovals, and on the back are squares too. So this is the second largest stitched shape circle is what we're working on there. Okay, thank you for sharing, Diana. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so here we go. Cranking the handle. Running that one through. Okay, and we're gonna do it one more time. Sorry if we have a little shaky shake here. So, see the stitching. You gotta have stitching in your life, don't you ladies? Okay, we're gonna pop this one out. And did I stamp it the same so I don't have to spin it around a million times? I did, okay, there we go. I'm gonna run this one through. Oh, it moved. Good thing I saw that before. Sometimes I'm too busy looking at what you guys are seeing. Uh, well, you know, anyway, I don't really have a lot of excuses. It's just what happens some days, ladies. Kind of go off in my own little world for a sec. You know, it's hard to say. Lily was saying that the other day. She said, Mom, sometimes I'm with my friends and they're talking. And I realize I haven't heard a word they're saying. I'm just kind of off in my own little world. And I was like, Lily, 
Most days, that's a pretty nice place to be. <laughs> so don't worry about it. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's move this over here. So we're going to need it again, I believe, for our next one. Okay. So, ladies, I think we can put things together. Let's bring this back into view so I know what I'm doing. Okay. Adhesive right here. Right here, right here. Okay. So we're going to add. I love this back of this paper too. You guys getting this? There's something just about the subtle kind of texture on it. This would be good for masculine cards too. So if this is like too much for you, which I don't know how it could be, I love it, right? But you could do something interesting with that on a masculine card, I would think. Okay, so we're gonna add this right to the front of our card. And this is a really nice kind of simple card layout where you just use a strip of your designer series paper and then kind of have another focal point over here. And I love kind of crossing um, some of that detail there too. Okay, where's the, here we go. I'm looking, actually, no, we're gonna do this one next. I gotta remember the order of how I did these things. Okay, so we're gonna put our stitched, this is a Daffodil Delight, we're gonna put our stitched circle on there. Next, we are gonna do this. We are gonna put a strip. Uh, maybe I do want that. Do I want it up a little? No, I don't know. I'm gonna be funny today about that for some reason. Like, where do I want things? I just am gonna put a strip right across here. So I'm gonna cut that so it looks like it's pretty darn close. And then we're gonna just run a bunch of adhesive right along there. And we're gonna, maybe that is all right if it's a little, it's like I cut it a little bit at an angle and at first it was bugging me, but maybe that's all right. There, yeah, we're gonna have a little bit of an angle on that one, okay? Then, oh, and this was the burlap ribbon. This is fun too. You guys have seen, right, where you can cut the seam off and then you can peel all of these layers out and it makes, so it's kind of like linen thread, but it's a lot hardier, um, just like stiffer to work with. So I, sometimes it looks more substantial on your projects too. So you can keep it whole like this, or you can get a couple of strands of that. Even one is, is quite a bit sturdier looking than um, the linen thread, which I love the linen thread, but if you want a little something different or sturdier, that's kind of fun too. Okay, so we're just gonna snip that off right there. I know, aren't the colors beautiful, Philomena? I love them too. Okay, so do you see I'm just kind of cutting up the center just a little bit and then we're going to cut in at an angle and I love to just flip it over and then cut in. I can't I can't go in this way. So if you flip it over, then you have the same angle on both sides. Okay, so now we're going to add some adhesive, quite a bit of adhesive really, because I laid that right on top kind of of that burlap ribbon. Okay, so we're gonna put that one. And you could maybe use, um, what are those called? Those are called mini glue dots. You could probably use mini glue dots on there as well. That would be, or not mini glue dots, but um, mini dimensionals. That might be another idea. Okay, so we're gonna use our regular dimensionals to put these little babies on, okay? So we're gonna do one there and maybe one right there. And then I'm gonna kind of hold in the center and I'm gonna always like to kind of curl these up, right? So they add a little more dimension to our flowers. If you kind of curl those little babies up, right? Then we are gonna grab, oh, would it tell me? Maybe I could tell you. These are our 2019-21 in colors, right? Pretty Peacock, Purple Posy. Oh, what is this is soft sea, no. Seaside Spray. Oh my gosh, isn't that awful? This is Terracotta Tile. Rococo Rose, that's that one. So these are not going away though, right? But aren't these embellishments awesome? And I feel like maybe you can't tell quite as well in that. Can you see? the? They're like a faceted. Can you see all the detail on there, right? So I used these, the Terracotta Tile. Um, so we're going to use, because that's what I use right in my ink. So we're going to put a big one right in the center there, and then I used a small one, just so you could kind of see the different sizes of them, right? So there's one big and one small. And then, what is our last step? I already did this, because I was really low on ribbon, so I'm like, okay, 
Um, to tell you the honest to God truth, I had to tie two teeny tiny strips together <laughs> to make my bow. That's what that huge knot is doing back there. I told myself I wasn't gonna tell you guys that either. And then what do I, I'm like, I just can't not share all the, <laughs> all the details of how things get put together around here. So, okay, anyway, love this um, white polka dot tulle ribbon. I really, I keep hoping, like, don't retire it yet, Stampin' Up. I think it's been around for a couple of years already, but so there's probably a decent chance it's going to go away. But okay, so then we're just going to add that with a little mini glue dot right there. And those are kind of long, aren't they? Let's see, maybe I'll just trim that down just a little bit. I'm always afraid I'm going to cut my card off when I do that too. So, okay, our friendship is timeless. Isn't that beautiful? <laughs> you miss the cute brads, huh? I know. Well, these are our answer for cute brads, I guess, right, Sally? So, okay, there's one of our projects, right? Love all the colors, the fun, beautiful colors on there. Okay, scooting this stuff. Oh, actually, hold on one sec. I forgot. We're going to put this piece on the inside of our card, and then we are really done with this one, okay? So don't forget, ladies, if you put in your online order and use that host code, the 4P442Y2V, spend at least $30, and you're going to get the make and takes that we're doing right now. So I'll give you all the parts and pieces you need to do your stamping. So you do need a Timeless Tropical stamp set and your own ink, um, to put the projects together, but I'll send you everything that you need. Also, too, over on my blog, after our Facebook Live, I will give you dimensions, item codes, everything that you need to order and make these projects on your own as well. Um, what else? What else? I think that's it. So yeah, check that out, too, because that gives you lots of good information. Plus, then you can see pictures as well over there, too, of those projects that we're making. Okay. Oh, you know what? Let's do this. Let's move these out of the way, too. I don't think I need those colors. Or I could get really, really confused if I look up and like, oh, I have those things there. Do I need to use them for something? Right, okay, I think we're good. We're cleaned up enough. Now this one, okay, so this is my um, attempt at a masculine card using these products. Marianne, hello, welcome, welcome. I'm glad you can be here with us. So again, the Woody Wagons, like I said, my favorite designer series paper. So I thought this was a good, you know, we always need those masculine cards, right? So we used a couple of leaves from our In the Tropics dies. Can you see the fun little ukulele? And then here is my burlap that I just had to pull apart a little bit. Plus we use the new embossing folder, the Coastal Weave embossing folder. So let's let's show you. We'll get these details out here for you, right? Okay, so we need some ink. We need that and that. Okay, so let me give you, again, I always like to do the dimensions first. So this is another tall card. And again, Pretty Peacock, I don't think they say is a color that coordinates, but clearly that looks like Pretty Peacock to me right there on that little woody wagon, right? Okay, so again, Pretty Peacock cardstock. Along our eight and a half inch side, we cut it at four and a quarter inches. And then along the 11 inch side, we scored it at five and a half inches, okay? Nice crisp fold on our card. Now this one, and this is a good simple card layout for you too, where you put some designer series paper on the bottom or on the top, and then you can even leave this just plain. You can emboss it, but it's kind of a good offset there. So you see a little bit of DSP and then a little bit of um, just plain cardstock, like I said, maybe embossed. So this piece of DSP measures, this one is two and three quarters by four. <laughs> I know the masculine cards I hear you but we need a few of them don't we so every once in a while we just have to break down and do that this one also measures two and three quarters by four and then this is soft suede cardstock okay so again I'll tell you everything that you need to know over on my blog later in case you forget what color cardstock was that it's always there yes one can always <laughs> yes always always use more masculine cards Okay, so everything else is just kind of scraps. So we're gonna put that right there. We do have a piece of Whisper White, I forget to tell you that, that measures four by five and a quarter. It's that very standard sizing that goes on the inside and I had to use the palm trees. Don't those look awesome in there? So let's do that. We're gonna grab, we've got soft suede ink right here. 
So we're gonna just stamp, you know, it's fun to stamp on the envelopes too and on the inside of your card. So we're gonna stamp those. Oh, aren't those cool? Look at all the detail. Thank you, Philomena. <laughs> Very nice, she says. Cute, okay, let's flip that down. Plus I have to show you guys, let's get closer on that. Oh, doesn't it make you, are, are we on a beach yet, ladies? I wish, right? Okay, uh, this one. Now we're gonna use, this is just another strip of Whisper White cardstock with our Pretty Peacock ink. I'm just gonna flip that open. So we've got our stamp. Here, we're gonna go, that's gonna be right side up. May your birthday be memorable. We're gonna just stamp that right on there. Okay, that looks good. And then we're gonna die cut this with, what are those things called? Those are the rectangle stitched dies. We're gonna cut and we're gonna cut some leaves with that too. Okay, let me make sure, I think I did, yep, I pulled it out. So you get like a billion of the rectangle stitched dies, right? So we are gonna use over here in this kind of wider rectangle, we're gonna use the second smallest piece right on there, okay? All right, let me grab the die cutting machine again. And we have to do some embossing too, which is always like magic when you run um, your paper through your embossing machine, right? Okay, so we'll, we'll make sure that's good in a sec. I also have, this is old olive cardstock, and I used a couple of the leaves. There's this one. And then there's this one. We use these two leaves on old olive cardstock, and they're gonna cut and do a little bit of embossing. That actually looks pretty good. Okay, there we go. And those leaves are from the In the Tropics dies. I will show you though, while this is catching my eye, right? So you can see, well here, we'll just grab this. So if you wanted to, we're not gonna do it, but that die fits perfectly right on there and you can cut your palm trees out too. I will tell you on my class to go kit, I think I used almost all of these dies, which I rarely am able to do that. So I just went to town with all the details and fun using as many of these dies as I possibly could. So very fun. Okay. Um, oh, I'm realizing I need my embossing. Well, we'll get that in a sec. Okay, there we go. May your birthday be memorable. We've got that one. And I put that over there and then let's see, are these gonna cooperate with me? Nope, but that's okay, cause we're gonna just do that. Oops, I'm gonna do that again. There, popped right out. Okay, we got that one, we got that one. Let's put those in there too. Okay, so there, can you guys see, look at all the detail, right? They embossed and die cut, very, very cool. Okay, now we need not that platform, that's what I need to go grab. Yes, so this is the Coastal Weave, it's a 3D embossing folder. So we need a regular platform, and then we need the blue plate. So I have to go grab both of those. One quick sec, take a sip of your coffee, ladies. Okay, here we go. All right, so our regular platform. This was our soft suede piece. And I wanna make sure, yep. I want it to go sideways like that, right? I think I actually did it this way. I think it can go either way. Yeah, this is what I did though. And where's the line? I'm like looking for the line, here we go. It's very helpful, that little line right there so that you emboss, you know, so it's not like crooked embossing. Very helpful. Okay, so use that blue, the blue, the blue embossing plate with your regular platform on your 3D embossing folders. You need that, okay? And this is the magic, right, where it was like a flat boring piece, and now look at that. Can you see? I see like an Easter basket. Definitely, okay. It's kind of got my wheels turning again now. Okay, I think we are ready to put this card together. So, oops. So that's what happens when you just toss it in the chair <laughs> behind you. Stuff just kind of falls out. Okay. So here, this is, oh, this is a great example too. Can you kind of see? This looks a little 
they look similar, don't they? Like this one is just the designer series paper. It's almost like they kind of weathered it. And then look at the texture there. You can almost see texture in this paper, even though there isn't any. Very, very cool. Okay, let's grab our card base. And which one did I do first? I don't remember. We're gonna put this one down first. Okay, so we've got that there. And then make sure the woody wagons are not upside down. We are gonna add this one maybe right about there. And I'm going to press firmly, make sure I've got all of that. Now, okay, this is the magic right here, ladies. Okay, so what happens when you pull it apart is it shrinks. So we're going to cut it and we can always cut some off if we need to, but that's what I, and the other funny thing that I found is when you do this, when you keep pulling on it, it's almost like it shrinks back up a little bit, or as you're pulling here, it's making this skinnier. So you kind of maybe have to pull it a couple of times, but that's all right. Ooh, look, see when you pull it, that gets real crazy there, huh? So I just love, I thought it looked like like a little runner or something, you know, like down a long hallway, <laughs> like a little uh, sizzle rug or something. Okay, there we go, isn't that cool? Look at that, see how much shorter it is? It was like hanging way off the edge of the card. Not so much anymore. Okay, if I had my fast fuse, ladies, that's what I would probably be using on this. But since I've run out, okay, so we're gonna put that firmly right there, right? Then we need some dimensionals. Okay, I'm gonna just put them on the top and I'll show you why. I'm gonna just add a little bit of adhesive right here and here, because I'm gonna put it so that that adhesive is gonna kinda um, stick to that burlap right there, okay? So that's my attempt at not making things um, crooked either, where this is sticking up too high. I didn't wanna put dimensionals underneath this just on that side, so they're, it's flush, right? Hopefully that makes sense to you guys. Okay, I just flung those leaves over here, and thank goodness, I was able to find them. Okay, so we're gonna add a little bit of adhesive on our leaves. Okay, we're gonna put this one right here and that one right there. Now we are gonna grab our ukulele. So this cute little buddy right there, love him, right? Plus you think of you know, maybe a man playing a ukulele, having some fun on the beach. Okay, we're gonna add a glue dot. It did come off, good, okay. We're gonna put that guy right about there. Last step, I have this right here in front of my face so I wouldn't forget it. We are gonna add this piece, that did not work, to the inside of a card. And then I went way over there. All right, I'll clean that off later. You can't have that adhesive, then everything sticks every time you put something down, doesn't it? Okay, there we go. So what do you guys think? Isn't that fun, like a great masculine birthday card? We can always use more of those, and simple, right? Just got a, a few details, um, tend to, the masculine cards tend to be a little bit more simple, I think, right? So, okay, ladies, here we go. There's the quick recap. If you are interested in getting the make and takes for these two cards, just make sure you put in an online order by next Wednesday at midnight using host code 4P44, move that out of the way, 2Y, 2V, right? You will get the make and takes for both of these projects. You will also get your name in the drawing, where did that go, to win the I Say Hello stamp set. Thank you, Marianne, I'm glad you enjoyed those. And if you bump your order up to $50, you get a free celebration item. You guys all know that, right? Then you get to pick from either the free embellishment, which this month is the glitter enamel dots. I promise a full package, I will not use any of your glitter enamel dots or the demo design dream team PDF tutorial. And maybe I can maybe I can flip better this way, right? So you guys can kind of see like a quick peek at the projects. Oh, I'm still not doing a great job. But look at somebody took tons of pictures there. That's not mine. Ooh, how cute. Lots of fun springy projects in here, right? So, you can get this PDF tutorial for free with your $50 order. So, 
Let me know if you guys have any questions. I will get everything uploaded to my blog this afternoon so you can know all of the item codes and product names, everything that we used on these cards. And we will be back two weeks from today because we've got the weekend retreat next Friday. And I, like I said, I've decided I'm not gonna kill myself next Friday because it's always like total nuttiness when I try to do a Facebook Live and then zip down to Lansing and get everything set up. So anyway, thank you guys for hanging out with me and I will be back two weeks from today for our next Facebook Live. Have a good couple of weeks, ladies. So actually I should say that you got a couple of weeks to put your order in and use the host code. Um, yeah, we'll do it the Wednesday, whatever that day is. The Wednesday before the next Facebook Live on Friday, you get the make and takes as long as you order by midnight. Okay, thanks guys. Have a great weekend. Bye everybody.